Okay. So. Now, I also know, I probably am saying this with each of these, that um, Unit 14 isn't yet divided up into subchapters. Um, I'm doing it just for ease, uh, sort of making bite-sized chunks. So I don't have to do one massive lecture explanation. Okay. Now, I know, realize this is similar to the sign for cough, complain, making suggestions, and requests. So just to refresh, if you've you've probably seen this sign before, but for roommate, their stuff, your stuff, you put them together, right? Mesh them together. Roommate, <clears throat> husband, wife. Now it used to be a more complex sign, so it was like man, Mary, woman, Mary, right? But now it's just gotten to the point where it's literally just there's kind of sometimes there's a point here or you're. It, pressing the index finger or um, going from the thumb. Boom. But most of the time now, husband, wife. And it just depends on where it starts from. Boom, boom. And I'll, you know, I find I do it with the thumb, not with the index finger. Husband, wife. Um, neighbors. A little bit more of a, uh, a concept of next house. And you can add anything, like if it's like, Like you're firing out like a spitball. Hate, hate, oh, loathe. I vomit on them. So we know the sign for sick, right? Sometimes you'll see it just up here. Sometimes you'll see both. Um, if you twist it, it means sick of, or it makes me sick. Right. So oftentimes we'll involve a pointing towards a third person. Right. So you can also frame it like sick of what? And then tell you using a rhetorical question. Um, dog, sign for dog, this is also finger spelling, D-O-G, right, dog, so, um, and tend to, it's the middle finger, and usually it goes from, like, the muscle here, and just kind of pops out, someone tends to, dog tends to bark, 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 um, Yell. Yell. It's a very generic sign. It's not specific. Right. To yell. Um, there's uh, some other vocab in here that we can go back. To bite. This is the mouth. Hush. Hush. Um, come. So the dog comes to, uh, this isn't in there, but a common problem with pets. They flee, they escape, they get out. I have to go looking for, searching for. And if you're a fan of French, the the verb for to look for is to chercher, right? So with a C, chercher. So one of those signs that 
a lot of people think that probably came right from the French sign language to search for. Um, cherche. Um, I don't speak French, so I may have just mangled that. Do with it as you please. Um, hair or hair fall out. So here's the hair follicle. Oh, fall, 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 fall. Covered in dog hair. Right? Um, every time you see the pluses afterwards, that means repetition. You repeat the same sign over and over. Um, yell, yell. Lick. Here's the tongue. Lick, 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 lick. The more you mime these, the clearer it is. Um, I will oftentimes use, this is the hand shape for a four-legged creature. So if the dog leaps up on top of you, boom, and then licks, licks, licks. But the more you mime that, the clearer the picture is. So always add that kind of acting out of what you're talking about. Um, so again, you can do two-handed jump, boom, or one-handed. Um, if it goes like this, it means vampire. So unless you have a vampire chihuahua, like I do, probably best to jump onto your chest than onto your neck. Um, and then bark, bark, bark. Okay. Um, well, let me close this. All right. <clears throat> And, you know, one nice point they make is that oftentimes we're going to use the recurring, not the continuous. Um, you wouldn't do it once. Like, you're not going to complain about your dog because he barked once. It's the fact that he barks and barks and, you know, he barks every morning. Bark, 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 bark. Or um, someone comes up to the house. Barks, 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 one hour, right? So... Most of the time, it's going to be an inflected of, in some way. Either it's recurring, bark, 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 or it's continuous. And again, I just did a close up because the, the graphic I was afraid was going to be too small. So spill, spill, spill. And I I would recommend to add that little uh, elemental classifier of a liquid spilling. Be as illustrative as possible. Um, when in doubt, add a detail. You don't have to do too much, um, but add something, add something visual so it's not just vocab. That we actually see the spill. Um, now, you can have them argue, quarrel, right? Or actual fight. There's another one that's this. If you, <laughs> it looks like kiss and then smack. This means to have like a spat. It probably is the best way of doing it. Like when you've come and you're. We'll, you'll see this for like bickering. Argue, argue, argue. And finally, it became a physical altercation. And you know what? This doesn't even have to be a physical altercation. It just means like it came to a head. Um, if you're at work and you've there's, you know, a coworker that you just constantly are arguing and finally it blows up into something more. Oh. Um And I've seen other signs for that. I mean, really, I think that idea of here's the cup falling over and it spills is the clearest. And then you can show whatever you want it to look like. Um, be lost. Um, you can lose things. Or... <clears throat> To leave behind, they leave things. Leave, leave, leave. To leave things, um, drop, hey, drop, 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 uh, drop. Um, there's also 
me. If you meet my mom, she'll tell you that's exactly the case. Um, steal. Little kids don't steal things. Steal, steal, steal. Um, it's basically like if you reach over to someone else's desk and take something. Steal. Steal, steal, steal. Noise. So it's from the ears. It's It, um, it almost looks like dangly earrings, right? noise or if it's just loud noises uh if it's like thunderous noise we tend to do this Boom. um break 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 this is one where we definitely will use the break sign uh, Afraid? Children hide behind. So again, that little acting out of... And one nice thing to think about, if you're talking about children and you're going to sort of act out what they're doing, what is the eye line? Most little kids don't look evenly across at you, eye level. They're going to look up, right? So... Those little details really make your signing clear. Eventually, they're going to get more and more important. But starting to think about the characters you're playing as you act them out uh, will really help your signing be more clear. Uh, little kids who complain all the time. forget. And oftentimes if we're going to repeat something and do that recur recurring, we can alternate hands. Forget, 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 forget. Leave, 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 leave. Take, 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 take. So it's different than steal. Steal tends to be more... Take is just I start. Um, tattle. This is the sign for gossip. If you're a fan of the music man, pick a little tackle, pick a little tackle, chip, 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 right. so, um, Most of the time I've seen this for tattle. Like, uh, he stole, he hit me. Um, this is story. This is tale, you know, right? So this is a smaller story than this one. This is a long story. I've seen this for like very picky little. Mm, um, and some of these are regional variations. So just to be clear, like 
there are different ways you'll see this sign. So um, just, it's all basically the same concept. Um, cry, you could do tears, you could do lots of tears. If it's just sort of like sobbing, to be a little bit sarcastic too. Oh, he's a pretty good guy. Uh, you can even do huge tears, like you know in cartoons where you see the water spraying out like a fountain. Right? Um, in many ways, if you like graphic novels and comic books, you can find lots of ideas within them for how to sign things. So something to think about. Yell. If it's a big, long yell, if it's yell, 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 ah. um, lie, flat hand, like a beak, lie, lie, lie. Um, we wouldn't use this. I mean, this is like false or fib, but this is definitely li oh, pfft, lie, 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 um, coral to argue verbally or to bicker. Mischievous. And you sometimes see it with both. It's similar to the sign. It's the sign for devil. Uh, devil wrist, devil tree. It's not necessarily quite as satanic as one might think on first look. It just means mischievous. Mm, trickster. Um, drop, drop, drop things. So when you see care, um, it's characteristic. Oftentimes it'll be like, oh, fray, fray, fray. if you repeat it, it tends to be frayed. Um, it's that idea that mm, he's he's a little devil. That's what he is. Bless his heart. Now, borrow. Notice it says borrow from me. If you pull the two Ks in towards yourself, it means to loan, to borrow something. I'm going to borrow it. It's, the thing is coming to me. If, however, they're borrowing it, you're constantly loaning it toward them. Right? So you're always going to want to move this in the direction that whatever's being loaned goes to. So, um, it's hard to make that one continuous, right? Because then it becomes to care for. So this is a recurring. So it's not circular. It boom stops, boom stops, boom stops, boom stops, right? So keep in mind that the, the motion has to match the concept. Uh, roommate always complain, blah, 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 whatever. So. If you're complaining about roommate or spouse, always out, always gone. If you want this to be continuous, gone for hours, all night gone. Late. borrow, loan. Clean. Oh, it's two. Anytime you want to say very, start thinking large. That'll be the best, the most useful. 
And if it's a negative thing, like, oh my God, it's so super clean. It gets annoying. Like, very picky face. No one has time for that. Oversleep. This is the sign I most see for oversleep, and it's the sun rises. Like, so getting up after the sun has risen. Oversleep. Um, tempted. Similar to the sign for steel, but this is the sign for temptation. Tempted. There's a sign for to have an affair, which is to go around to the next door neighbor, around the fence to the next door neighbor's house. Um, similar idea. Right. Tempted to go around the corner, right? So temptation. Uh, buy. If you repeat buy, it means shopping, spend, spending a lot of money on Amazon, right? And there's a difference where when you've seen this, going out shopping, what it means is they're going store to store to store to store to store. Otherwise, this is the verb for to sell. So outselling. If you're the kind of person who goes to flea markets and sells stuff, recurring, right? Sell, 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 sell. If you're out going shopping, store to store to store, you could be buying. This generally implies that you're not necessarily buying anything. You're just going to the stores versus this where you're out buying. You're spending that hard earned cash, right? So buy, 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 buy. Um, spend money fast. Um, if you're just like, Imagine you got money in your pockets and it's all just, all your money's just gone. If you're spending it all in like one place, like there's a big bill, here's that stack of money just going away and a big tear falls down, right? So I've also seen this where this is kind of like to erode or melt and all the money you had is now gone, right? Spend money. Sometimes this can be a positive of like, man, it's worth it. Spend the money, right? But rarely, rarely is it a positive. Um, worry. worry. This is basically a sign for worry or have an emotional, you know, fretting. Um, you'll see worry, which is similar to trouble. People will use, oh, I'm worried. I'm worried there's trouble. Um, like if I knew, oh, I knew that there was trouble right here in River City, capital T. Anyway, um, or tend to worry. Um, leave alone to wants to be alone use also the sign for where but use and this tends to be you could again repeated recurring you use by stuff, my stuff, right? My car, my bike, uh, my toothbrush. Ew. Um, the ECL is environment classifier. And there are a few different ways that you can do it. I tend to like, you could do, right? B O right pits. Um, so the ECL is here's the vapors in the air and they go right up to your nose. Or I tend to not do it this way. I tend to do it like this, kind of like in the cartoons where you see the little tendrils of smell. Oh. Oh. 
and again, late. This is to postpone, take two little Fs, but you're like holding, and you postpone something, push it off. Or if someone's early. Like, to, I've state, we'll write down prepone, even though it's technically correct, but it's not a word that we use. Um, to eat. Food. So this is a sign for commute, going back and forth. Usually it's like going back and forth to work. But in this case, someone who's always going to the bathroom, right? Broke. So this is a different kind of break. This is to be bereft of money. Broke. Um, I've seen it also where someone from their pockets pulls out broke. Um, Wallet, no money. But most of the time, broke. broke, broke, broke. Um, be behind him. I see this for behind. Behind in rent, behind in bills, behind. Um, it's literally to fall behind. Um, this is the sign for debt. Put your money in my hand. Um, so, I mean, you can say always in debt. It can also be owes. It's not show. It's pointing to the palm. Put your money in my hand, right? Oh. Always working. Before had... So again, here's the vocab, leave, 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 leave alone. It also can be like leaves is crap all over the place, right? Garbage, leave, leave, leave. Nosy. It's not on the list, but nosy. His nose, my business, right? Nosy, what nosy. Um, be behind. Spend money. Um, I showed a couple of signs for, it's hard to see in that drawing, that ECL for odor from body, and then commute. Um, noise, nosy, they always complain, bother me. So if we take this, and we've used it for psychology, right? Now we're going to do it for bother, and we're going to come towards the palm with that karate chop. So it's chop in here. And then whatever direction you aim it, bother me. 
always bothering me, bothering me. And notice how I'm doing that sort of, re this is recurring and constant. Like, oh my God, they're constantly bothering me, right? Um, always coming up to me. Sugar. Oh, cup of sugar. Like, who, you, no one ever returns the cup of sugar, right? So it's not borrowing. Just give it to them. Um, gossip. Oh. Or that bu, 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 bu. no that's a good one for uh if you're gonna play the person next house they're getting divorced Ooh. right and, and really i think that's a good unit from uh from 14 talking about complaining about roommates complaining about neighbors complaining about spouses um pets anything like that so think about the specific ones and I'm going to, we'll, in class, we'll set up a homework. Um, I tend to do most of this in discussion in there anyways. Um, again, I put in the, the vocab and if I find any other videos uh, that will help with this chapter, I will include those in the slider show. Cheers. Do, do, do.